Hello and welcome to today's Tap Along with me, Janet Broughton, the Positive Thinking Coach. So this is day two of our Tap Along week. And what I'm going to cover today is anger. And we all have anger in us to varying levels. It's when it becomes a problem that you, you need to deal with it, or you may just wish to reduce it. So in case you didn't see the video yesterday, and that, that's tap along about fears and phobias, then I just want to give you a little bit of introduction again. So what we're going to be using is emotional freedom technique. Isn't that great? A technique to emotionally free you from all that stuff. So it's a wonderful, wonderful thing. And I first came across it 17 years ago after breaking my back the previous year. And although the, the break had healed, I was left with a muscle, muscle damage. So I walked with a stoop. I was in constant pain. I went back to the hospital and they told me two things. One was, we've done all we can. That was true. The second thing was, you will never walk straight again and you will be in pain for life. And I really wasn't accepting that. So I went in search of other things that could help me. And in that search, I found emotional freedom techniques. Sometimes it's always referred to as tapping or, or EFT. And by working with a practitioner, we released all the pain. And I went on to become a yoga teacher. Now, that is based on the theory, what we call somatic theory, that the body reflects how you're feeling. And there is a, a video on my YouTube channel um, that looks at somatic theory in more detail. It might be something you wish to explore. But it's what I base all my therapies on. So having had that experience, which to me felt like a miracle, then I had to share it with the world. And now, strangely enough, thanks to COVID, I am sharing it with the world. I now work everywhere, globally. So I know I have clients in America. You may be watching anywhere in Europe, Asia. You know, I've had people from literally all over the world. So welcome. And I want you to experience in this video the difference EFT can make in quite a short time. And I think that's sometimes both the, the wonder of and the worry about EFT. How can it happen so quickly? Why not? Why do we have to suffer any longer? So in this video, we're going to work with getting rid of some anger and you will feel better. Be aware that we're only just reducing it. That's what my aim is today on this, you know, about half hour. It's just to reduce your anger. And we'll talk about how we can work with it in the future. Now, I just want to show you, first of all, the positions we will use. Now, the first thing we will do is tap the side of the hand. And it can be either side, doesn't matter, whichever is most comfortable for you. And in doing that, we're tapping meridians here. And it's the side of the hand which you tap with the fingers of the other hand. And here we do what we call the setup statement. So if it's, um, you know, I am angry at myself quite often, then you would say, even though I am angry at myself for whatever it is, I totally and completely love and accept myself. Now, the reason we have that statement is because if somebody says, I'm really angry at myself, they want to inevitably follow it with, I know I shouldn't, I shouldn't be doing this. You start beating yourself up. So even though I've got this thing, I totally and completely love and accept myself. You don't beat yourself up because we're really good at that. Oh, we can take the big stick and beat ourselves up anytime you like. So if it feels a struggle sometimes to think, I don't love and accept myself, just say it anyway. Just go along with me. Okay. Don't think too much about it. Just say it. Now, we'll do that tapping three times with that statement. You are saying it out loud um, because that gives more strength, that puts more energy behind it and makes it happen a bit quicker. Do make sure that you've not got anybody around you. 
Do you make sure that it's quiet, that you haven't got the phone on? And shut the door. Don't let anybody disturb you. Now, the other thing I need you to do, which I'm just going to mention now, and you may wish to pause the video while you go and do this. I want you to get yourself a pen and paper. I want you to get a glass of water and some tissues because sometimes people cry. So pause the video, go and do those things and come back and start me again. OK, so you've got your pen and paper, you've restarted me <laughs> and you've got your glass of water and you've got your tissues and you're in a quiet space. Wonderful. So when we've done the tapping on the side of the hand, that's when we do the round of tapping. And we start off on the top of the head. Now, you have the fingers like that. OK, and it's not on the top, just a little bit back. And we tap there. OK, and then we have two fingers. So we. Wrap the thumb around the little finger and the ring finger and have those two fingers. And we tap the beginning of the eyebrow and the side of the eye and under the eye, between the chin and the lip, sorry, between the nose and the lip, on the chin. And then it's a soft fist and we just tap the collarbone. And then finally, the flat of the hand underneath the arm. Okay. So that's what we're going to do. Tap the side of the hand, the three statements, and then we tap round. Now, when we're tapping round, we're making a statement, but not the full one that we did on the side of the hand. It's just the middle bit. So if I was to say, I am really angry at myself because I give in too easily to other people, that might be it. You might think, I'm a, I'm a walkover, and that makes me angry at myself. You could be angry at someone else because they, whatever. Maybe you're angry at a situation or an organization. You know, I'm angry at somebody you're dealing with or an organization you're dealing with, whatever it is. I don't want you doing something like I'm angry at the world, too big. We do like to be very specific in EFT. So, I am angry at this organization because you know, I am angry at this person because. So do have that very clear um, who you're angry at and why or what it is you're angry about. And then we would do, so if I was doing the angry at myself for being a walkover, I'm angry at myself for being a walkover. I'm angry at myself for being a walkover. I'm angry at myself for letting people walk all over me. I'm angry at myself for letting people walk all over me. I'm angry at myself for letting people walk all over me. Soft fist. I'm angry at people, people, you see, I came out at myself for letting people walk all over me. I'm angry at myself for letting people walk all over me and release. Now, where I've got my words a bit mixed up there means that something's being released, that the tapping was working. You will get different reactions. You, the most common one is a sigh. Some people feel tingly. Some people yawn. Some people move and stretch. You can see them releasing the tension because when you've got something negatively going on in your emotions, the body reflects it, somatic therapy. And tension is a, and it's an obvious one. Um, some people giggle, still a release, and the tissues for the edge to get some people will cry. And they can be good tears as well as negative. You know, it could just be the release, the relief of it. And that, that's OK. So be aware that all sorts of things can go on. Now, the way that we measure one of the key ways is what we call SUDS, subjective units of disruption. How, you know, we're, we're being subjective about the disruption on the body and in the, the most important in the emotions. So one of the first thing I want you to write down, that's why the pen and paper's there, is what is it you want to work on as far as anger? Who are you angry at? What are you angry at? And why? What is it that makes you angry? And say, be specific. If you're too global, we don't make much difference. So you've got to be specific. So who or what or where is making you angry and why? So write that down first of all.
Okay. Now on that scale of one to 10, I mentioned, 10 is, it's, oh, it's up there beyond words. Note it's not there at all. So where are you on that scale of one to 10? And don't think about it too much. What's that first number came into your head? And if you're not sure, just guess. Write that down. Lovely. And I just want you to close your eyes for a minute. And I want you to go through your body. Think about that anger you feel towards. How does your body feel? Are you feeling tense anywhere? Is it heaviness? Is it nausea? Is it headaches? Is it what's happening on your body as you think about that anger you feel towards? Now, open your eyes, write that down. Great. So you've got the number, you've got the physical sensations and you know what it is you're angry at and why. Now, when I tap round, I'm going to be saying, even though I am angry at, and I'll leave you to put in whatever it is you're angry at and because. So if, like I just did in that example, even though I'm angry at myself, letting people walk all over me. So you, you've got your sentence. So I'll just say angry, and then you fill in what you're angry at and why. So because what I'd say that specific, we want your words, not my words, because it's not my feeling, it's yours. So you put in your words in however you wish to describe it. There is no one else in the room. You just say how you're feeling. Now, before we start, I want to make sure you're in a good position. So assuming you're seated, sit back in your chair, have your, your, your chest forward, your shoulders back, be nicely supported with the back of the chair. Now, have your feet, or your legs uncrossed and your feet on the floor. We want the energy to flow. We don't, we're, we're getting rid of blockages, so we don't want to create a blockage by crossing legs. Okay, brilliant. So you're in a room that's quiet, you're not going to be disturbed. You've got a good position on your body and you know what it is you're tapping on. So we're ready to go. So as I say, say it out loud and I will give you time to repeat after me. So I want you to start tapping. As I said, it doesn't matter which side. And then start repeating after me. Even though I am angry. Now fill in your own at and why. I totally and completely love and accept myself. Even though I am angry I totally and completely love and accept myself. Even though I am angry, I totally and completely love and accept myself. Good. Now we're going to do the round of tapping. So get the fingers like that, first of all, not right on top of the head, just back a bit. I am angry. So your words, what you're angry at and why. And then the two fingers, so thumb across the ring finger and the little finger, begin tapping. I am angry. I am really angry. And let's, let's build it up. Now say why you're angry and who at. Or what at. I am really angry. At. 
because Surface collarbone. I am really angry. And who and why you are angry at them. Say it out loud. And then gently release. Have a little glass of water. I've placed mine a little bit too far away. Just have a little sip. Now I want you to think about that person, place, institution, whatever it is you're angry at, and see how the anger feels now. What number would you put it at now? Now just guess at it. Don't think about it too long, just put the number down. Brilliant. Now just do that closing of your eyes. And go to your body and think about that person, place, whatever it is that makes you angry and why. Just see how your body feels now. Now write that down. So what you'll have noticed your numbers come down and your body has changed. Now, if I'm working one-to-one -one with somebody in person or via Zoom as I do now, then if it hasn't changed, there's more I have to dig out. My job is to be the, the detective. Now, obviously I can't do that with all of you, but I already said you're all over the world. So just allow yourself to notice the change and if you want to put strong words in there if it you know if i've seen people go i feel really really angry that's fine you know you don't have to be calm about this in the moment let it out it's just that while you're letting it out keep tapping <laughs> that's the really important bit okay it's okay to rage we're dealing with anger and anger makes us do things like scream and, and shout and and we walk out and bang doors or we slam things down. You know, we do physical things as well as feeling it inside, that tension where you're gripping your teeth or your stomach's in knots or you're tight like that, has a lot of effect. And if you can, you know, the amount of energy that goes into being angry, if you could use that positively, wow. Okay, so we want to use that positively. So we're now going to do the next part, the next round of tapping. So now I want you to start tapping on the hand again, side of the hand. I'm going to change the wording a little bit. I'm just going to say, even though I still feel angry, and then what you were thinking before. But even though I still feel angry at because. Even though I still feel angry I totally and completely love and accept myself Even though I still feel angry At, because, remember to put your words in. I totally and completely love and accept myself. Good. Now the top of the head. <clears throat> I still feel angry. Beginning of the eyebrow. I still feel angry. At the side of the eye, I want you to say the who you're angry at and why.
Number there. I still feel angry. Do you make that tapping mad? I don't want you hitting yourself and causing bruises. Do be gentle. And then above the lip, I still feel angry. And then on your chin, again, the who and what it is you're angry at and why. And then that soft fist, gently on the collarbone. I still feel angry. And the flat of the hand, under the arm, the who and the why. And then gently release. Okay, get that movement. Nice big breath, sip of water. Now, what number are you at? Write it down. Just the first number that comes into your head. Don't, don't ponder it or guess at it if you're not sure. And then just do that close of the eyes and go to the body and see how your body feels now. Think about that anger you feel towards that person and why. What's happening in your body? And then write that down. Brilliant. So we're going to tap again. I'm going to make this the last round. And I'm going to change the wording again a little bit. So I'm going to say, even though I still feel some anger, and then you put in towards and why. So I still feel some, that's going to be the change in the wording. So tap in the side of the hand, even though I still feel some anger, who and why, I totally and completely love and accept myself. even though I still feel some anger, I totally and completely love and accept myself. Now, the fingers. I still feel some anger. And then beginning of the eyebrow, the, the who and the why. So towards and because. Side of the eye. I still feel some anger. And then under the eye, the towards and because. And then above the lip, I still feel some anger. And then on your chin, towards and because. Surface. I still feel some anger. And then who and why? Release. A little shake if you need to. And then just write down the number you're at now. First number that comes into your head. And now do that closing of the eyes, go to your body, feel what sensations when you think about 
that person or place or reason you're angry? How does it feel on your body? And then write that down. Brilliant. So what we've done there is reduce your feelings of anger. And that was my aim for this video. It'll be different for all of you. You're all angry at different things. Um, and I think it's really important with that one when we do the love and accept myself, because often you might be angry at parents and yet there's a bit of you think, so I shouldn't be angry at my parents because I'm a parent. It's okay to be angry at parents. But that's why we put, I love and accept myself. You, you're kind of not beating yourself up a bit. So that's really important. Now, as I already said, anger produces all sorts of reactions, both physically and how it changes your behaviour. It's deep seated when it's getting to that stage. There's a lot of stuff there. We've just taken the edge off it today. You can do a little bit more tapping for yourself if you want. And remember, we're changing the words. So I had still I had angry at first and then we were still angry and then we had still had some anger. So. As you move down, say something like, there's a little bit of anger left. And that, that will depend, that's round about the, the two, three, maybe four point. So if you're above that, no, I wouldn't go too down to a little bit because it's not, is it? So you're not at a stage where I can say, go away and just sort of work it all out for yourself because that's not the point. This is an introduction, an aim for you to experience something that's really quite hard to explain. If you've experienced it, it suddenly makes sense. And if it happens really quickly, that's great because that's what we aim to do. We don't want you to suffer and suffer. You've suffered enough. Let's now get rid of it and allow you to live your life without anger, your best life, where you can enjoy what's going on around you. And you're not letting that person, organisation or anything off the hook or forgiving them you can if you want what you're doing is allowing yourself because they don't they don't know what's happening they're carrying on with their lives they're not aware of all the things you're struggling with so you're letting yourself relax into it and then you can deal with situations in a much better way so we know the anger's still there so i've reduced it a bit now the the real work comes and if you would like to experience more of EFT and my positive thinking program to help you remove permanently all those things you've been struggling with, and anger isn't usually just at one thing, it can be at a number of things. That's why we have to be specific. You never just tap on I'm angry because there could be so many things. We need to be specific. So if you would like to know more and find out how I can help you live your best life, then do contact me for a complimentary 30 minute discovery session, which we'll do online on Zoom. Um, my website is thepositivethinkingcoach.com. My email is Janet Broughton at thepositivethinkingcoach.com. I will put all my details underneath this video so you can contact me and we can arrange a mutually convenient time because I am so passionate about helping people live that best life so thank you for making that effort for yourself today to improve your life and let's continue the journey together thank you